Hello everyone and welcome back to the Impact Explaining Impacting More Than Just Gaming. I'm your founder and host, Mohammed, otherwise known as It's Yagu. And have you guys heard about the new black hole that was discovered? When was this article written? I think it was no yeah, yesterday. So there you go. Because Christopher Cream had a promotion. Because they found out about it, because it kinda looks like looks like a um a donut. So what they Oh, that was weird. Okay, so what they did was... I had a Let me see if I could find it, though. I can show you guys on the live show. Krispy Kreme. Um, I call... Let's see. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, FNL, gaming, and then let's, uh, Windows, no, no, Windows capture, display capture? Yeah, Windows. That's the one. So, what happens when you're a one-man production show, folks? It takes a little, it takes a little time. See a donut at the center of the galaxy. Celebrate this phenomenal scientific discovery. Get a free original glazed donut Friday, February, uh, May 13th on limit one time. One limit, the limit was one per guest. I participate in uh, shops only and not online. But, but what was funny was I actually walked into Krispy Kreme after my day job, after the end, the, end, the end of my shift. I'm like, okay, let me just get a, a glazed donut. They always assume. It's they always assume oh you're gonna you're, you're gonna gonna get a dozen even though I specifically stated let me just get one not a dozen just one oh just one yeah just one and she wanted to charge and and, uh, and uh, they wanted to charge me like today it's supposed to be free oh okay here we go I didn't even mention the promotion or nothing like that so the you that's why it's always uh, important to 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 specify your savings as well because they're because they're they're not gonna try to save you money you have to mention it yourself and then let's get into the details of the actual black hole as this is coming from the atlantic we live in, uh let's see for the first time in human history we got a glimpse of the of a black hole in the center of the of, of our galaxy and it's dubbed uh secretarius a or per a star. So it has apparently a mass of 4 million suns, but could feel comfortably within the orbit of Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. Yeah, we're not going to go into, into the nitty gritty details, but it's like a nice discovery though. That black hole was finally, we finally have an image of one. Instead of looking at theories uh, of, uh, from movies, TV shows, and, you know, stuff like that. But, yeah, but it's nice to hear, though. Uh, okay, I guess we're getting to... The, the show must go on. So we are your one-stop news shop. For the latest and greatest across gaming, tech, entertainment, sports, and music. Plus, we are amplifying voices for those respective fields and having their story told here on Devil Play. Join us as we record the show live over at twitch.tv backslash the impact play and by clicking on that notification bell so you will be notified when we do go live or later on YouTube or even on your favorite podcast platform. Simply search for the impact play, all one word by the way. Whoever you consume your content, whoever you consume it, we are there. Your support keeps the lights running and keeps the content rolling. You can support us over at anchor.fm backslash the play backslash support or via Patreon, super cool and above, get the show ad free. Go to the and above, have exclusive access to not only post show, but to get a call in to be a part of the live show experience, plus early access and so much more. You're more than become a Patreon supporter today at patreon.com backslash the play or even using our third way, the free way. Using our credit code, the Empire Play. We are an Epic partner. So with every purchase you make within the Epic ecosystem, we use our credit code, the Empire Play, all one word. We do get a commission that will support the show for the elevators and take us to no height and newer heights at zero cost to you. And we do get a slight kickback, so everybody wins. 
This is episode 165 on the agenda. We have both Starfield and Redfall have been delayed. We have no details on Call of Duty Warzone Mobile and Apex Legends Mobile. EA has at least 4 games in the works. 505 Games has announced its Spring Showcase. No experiences in the, Robo in the Roblox Metaverse. Leaked images of Motorola's upcoming Razer 3. Everything announced at Google's I.O. conference. Apple has discontinued the iPod Touch. The Alan Wake TV series has been greenlit. Fast 10 as Jack Reacher star Alan Richardson to its cast lineup. Netflix is exploring live streaming. The Atlantic United will be taking on New England Revolution. Liverpool have won the FA Cup. The UEFA Champions League Finals Match Preview. The upcoming Billboard New Music Awards. The winners at the 2022 Juno Awards. New music from Kendrick Lamar. Post Malone, My Chemical Romance, and so much more. Plus the top stories of the week. So welcome to our very first segment of the show. Where we discuss what we have been playing, what I've been enjoying, essentially what we have been up to. So without further ado, let's get right into this. Alrighty, folks, so we're now going to discuss what we have been playing and essentially what we, have, what we have been up to. So if you guys are aware, I finally begun playing Bucksnacks, which is our Game Pass game of the month. And it's a lot harder than I thought. And I definitely sent this out, I put, it, I put this tweet out, I, uh, and I started the discussion in Discord as well, so you can join the discussion uh, either way. Whatever is more, more comfortable for you guys. But nonetheless... It's a lot harder than I thought. I thought it was going to be a simple, e simple, easy game, but no, not, not close. <laughs> I was playing, I think I played three hours of it on, when did I stream it? No, I didn't I did stream it, I played it off stream. But I did record a lot of a, con a lot of gameplay from it though, which I'll use for our review cast as well. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I got a... I gotta, show, I gotta put up the Xbox app on my phone. I think that's the easiest thing to do. Let's see if it should show it. Let's see. Okay, about. Uh, so, is it giving me the stat? Should give me the stat in this thing, no? I guess I got an achievement. Bucks, I oh, heard this. Bucks and Axe, and then I got, a, again, I got a stats. So I've played, yeah, I've played almost three hours of it. But didn't show one, though. Darn, this stinks. Uh, when did I play Warzone? I play Warzone every day. Um, I want to uh, say it wasn't sad, it wasn't yesterday. Yesterday I had a wedding to go to. I believe I want to say it's Friday. It was wait. I I, I sent the tweet out. Hold on, hold on. I sent the tweet out. Give me a second. Profile. Yeah. It, yeah. It was. It was Friday. It was Friday. I sent that tweet out. But it was a lot harder than I thought. I was playing it for three hours that Friday night. I'm like. Wow, really? Back the knockdown, that's weird. There we go. Okay, so literally a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> I thought it was just a simple bug snacks game. You might catch some some bug snacks, which is what they're called. But yeah, so definitely look forward to my our um our review cast next month later on in June. So we literally have about two weeks left in in this in this month for our first game pass game of the month. If you guys are interested, be sure to play it, and then we'll we'll discuss it. You can even part of, be a part of the live show if you're at least a good coach and above. Or you could just simply join the discussion offline on Discord or on Twitter. If you guys are interested. But nonetheless, uh, that uh, show-wise, I've 
I'm watching uh, Marvel's Legends, which is like a fast-paced, uh, not preview, like a fast-paced uh, version of everything that happened in the MCU from Iron Man to the to uh, uh, want to uh, what's that Wanda TV show, Wanda Vision or whatever whatever it's called, the third Vision. But yeah. I I think it it goes through the whole timeline, and it definitely goes back and forth throughout each episode, which is like maybe like five minutes, uh, average. But it's a nice, I guess, because there's nothing else to watch <laughs> until we get uh, Obi Wan, and then uh, what's the other one? What's her name from from the Clone Wars? Osaka, uh, something like that. I forgot her name. But yeah. So, until we get some actual shows on Disney Plus, this is that's what I have. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, that's about it. Movie wise, I've been to the movie theater since uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, which you could watch our review cast and in our spoiler cast, which is available now publicly to everybody on podcast servers around the globe, as well as our YouTube channel. So, uh, youtube.com backslash the impact play. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So I guess without further ado, we're gonna hop into the news, folks, and we're gonna start with your, with our housekeeping news for you. That's what it is. I was I was gonna say gaming, but I actually do the new segment, so it's our housekeeping. All right, folks. So housekeeping. If so, there was a Nintendo in the World showcase on the 11th, which is about four days ago. So we did a co-stream for our. Uh, co-stream for it as well if you guys missed that out, if you guys missed that be sure to check that out on our youtube channel uh, youtube.com backslash the impact play and by clicking on our which channel is it on which playlist oh on our co-stream playlist if you guys want to more of a red redirect uh but nonetheless uh, be sure to check that out and yeah also please keep in mind that we are working uh we're trying to work on bringing guests on the show for uh, an interview as well. So being on the lookout for once we have something officially set in stone, we'll, we'll relay that message accordingly. But, yeah. So let's see. So it's done with housekeeping, folks. Down room. We're going to move on to your gaming play. Oh, I guess we were mute, folks. But apparently, we have Starfield and Redfall have both been delayed to 2023. Coming from an article from GamesIndustry.biz. An MS is shared on social media. The publisher said both titles will now be released in the first half of next year. The teams at Arcane, Arston, uh, for Redfall and Bethesda Game Studios have incredible ambitions for the games. And we want to ensure that you receive the best, the most polished versions of them. So, what does this say about uh, Xbox's upcoming Xbox and Bethesda showcase? Who knows? We just, it's just, it's two of their biggest hitters uh, uh, from the first party studios have just been pushed back. So, I'm pretty sure that they're going to have a lot of other titles to be announced in their place. So, we'll just have to wait and see. It looks like Gotham Knights will only be available for current gen. So, for PC... PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, coming from the GameSpot. So, Warner Brothers Montreal have revealed new gameplay footage for its upcoming uh, co-op game, as well as which platforms it will be landing on. So, uh, that is aiming to provide the quote-unquote the best possible gameplay experiences using the more powerful hardware available. But, that's actually a good case this way, because... You get as much use as you can from the old gen, but if you can't support it, might as well just release your games on next gen. And we're gonna we're gonna see a lot of this as well because we're literally about eighteen months, uh, eighteen months in already from from this new generation of consoles. So we're gonna see a lot of titles that's not gonna be cross generation anymore. They're just gonna be for current gen, which is the Xbox Series S and X plus the PS Five and of, of course PC. So this is just the first of a uh, slew of games. That's good. It's good for them, though. So as part of Ubisoft's earning, 
last briefing, the company confirmed that it has more games in development right now than ever before in history. So including Avatar Frontier of Pandora, Mario and Rabbids, Sparks of Hope, and Skull and Bones Ubisoft. That's all we have. But I'm pretty sure they have a lot of announcements coming forward. So we have... I guess we have a, a, a little bit of gaming and fashion news. So the Pokemon company has collaborated with Converse Japan to release a classic collection of Pokemon sneakers. As originally reported by Kotaku, coming from, coming from IGN. It includes four designs, which I'm going to showcase this in a minute. Okay. Nope, that's not it. Okay, here's the Pikachu. Hi, high stars, I guess you could say. This looks like the Eevee. Yep, uh, Charizard. And Mewtwo. So Pikachu, Eevee, and Charizard. So let's see, I think that's all we have. Was it four or three? Uh, so EV, no, Pikachu, EV, Charizard, and Mewtwo. So four, yeah, I was right. Oh, for some for some reason, <laughs> I forgot about Mewtwo. But if you guys are interested, uh, I ha put your hopes on a, on a very, very minimum. Because this is this will only be a Japan exclusive, so maybe they'll be released on eBay or something like that later on. We'll see. But I wanted to do something other than Converse, like Puma, or even uh, Adidas or something like that. Okay. Now we have some new titles from EA coming from IGN. Electronic Arts offered its investors a sneak peek at what it's got cooking for 2023 during its earnings report, including a planned major IP as well as some unannounced remakes. So here we go. We have a major IP, a partner title, a remake, plus a sports title. Who knows what could what this could be? And speaking of EA, EA is uh, FIFA is being rebranded into EA Sports FC. And they promised that nothing else will quote unquote change. So I'm pretty sure that this is about the license that we talked about a good amount of times on the show. But yeah, so this way they don't have to worry about paying the license fees to FIFA directly. They can just work with clubs and partners like, like have they've always been doing. And speaking of EA, they have another game in the works. They're getting back into Lord of the Rings, coming from GameSpot. They've announced a partnership with the Middle Earth Enterprises for a new mobile title, by the way. Not for consoles. It's a quote-unquote a role-playing game that aims to offer a strategic, social, competitive experience. So apparently EA is also bringing VR, is, uh, bringing VR support to its PC version of, of Formula 1 2022. Thank you, Road to VR, for that. Now let's get into this Nintendo Indie World Showcase. Everything that has been announced coming from IGN, by the way, folks. So the first one we have our oblets. It is arriving this summer. Batora Lost Haven is coming in the fall of 2022. Elakhead is coming summer of 2022. Uh, Sounds Fall. Yeah, where's the date on this? Hmm. Let's see, give me a second. So I'm releasing this whole date on this. So 
go to Nintendo's website. Should have a date on this. Oh, it's now available. Okay. Uh, so you have, let's see, Oblitz, we already talked about that. Uh, we have Totally Accurate Vital Simulator, <laughs> which was funny when I saw it. We have Gun Gunbrella. Okay, so Total Accurate Battle Simulator is going to be available this summer, by the way. Uh, Gunbrella will be released sometime next year. We have We Are OFK. Well, it doesn't say anything, so I'm pretty sure it's available now. But it's going to be like an episode. Uh, yeah, it's releasing summer of this year. Okay, we have Salt that'll be arriving June of this year. Mini Motorways, which was an Apple Arcade game, is making way to this is available to the Switch to, uh, now. Actually, we have Wayward Strand. Which be uh, which will be available July twenty first of this year. Cut a cult of the lamb. Uh, let's see. I don't know why these don't have dates on them. It's so weird. Hmm. Apparently, this is going to be available for other consoles as well, so PS four. PS5, Xbox Series, XS, Xbox One, and PC. Apparently, you could wish list there, but that's it. Let me see. When does it come out? Once there's a release on this. It just says 2022. Okay. And we have another Crafts Charger. Uh, sometime in 2023 on the Switch, we have Gibble, Gibbon Beyond the Trees, which is available. No, well, well, you could try it as a demo. We have, and that's it. Oh, we have other titles, including uh, Card Shark, A Guidebook of Babel, One Shot, World Machine Edition, Curse to Golf, and Idol Manager. And the only the two games that actually caught my attention are Elec Head, which I also found out is it's available on Steam now as well. And another crap treasure. And those are the two games that definitely caught my attention. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Speaking of Nintendo, of Nintendo, the Nintendo Switch, as well as the PS4 in the US, and is now the fourth biggest console in US history. Thank you, IGN, for that. Now let's get into these mobile titles. So War we'll get to Warzone first, uh, co-named Project Aurora, coming from GameSpot. So it's the upcoming title, which is a battle royale that aims to deliver a quote unquote a fresh new way to play. It, it announced the big news on his website, and it will be the first of regular updates as this game is currently being developed. And it is rumored, uh, uh, apparently there's a hiring ad on the official Call of Duty website. And it aims to bring the Call of Duty Wars experience to mobile devices. Apparently, there's going to be a closed alpha test. But yeah, that's about it. So hopefully, we should receive some new details soon. Speaking of new details, uh, here are some Apex Legends Mobile. It is launching on May 17th, coming from The Verge. On Android and, and iOS. So that's about it. <laughs> we have a release date for that. Okay. 
So Sega is quote unquote planning multiple remakes and remasters and new games this year. So according to his first fiscal year of 2021 forecasting, it's fiscal year for, for next year, apparently. So we should receive some a lot of new deal details on a lot of games, hopefully uh, this year. Epic Games is releasing an open to everybody and Unreal Engine 5 editor for Fortnite and will let creators monetize what they make. CEO Tim Sweeney told Fast Company that around half of players' time in Fortnite is spent playing other uh, other users' content and Epic Games wants to make that experience more fully uh, fledged through the editor able and the ability to monetize the custom content. We're going to release the Unreal Editor for Fortnite. And the full capabilities that you've seen in Unreal Engine, but up so that everybody can build very high-end quality game content and code, Sweeney said, and deploy it into Fortnite without having to, to do a deal with us, and it's open to everybody. He also added that Epic Games aims to make Fortnite a marketplace similar to Steam or the App Store. And, and uh, Sweeney also said, we are building an economy and will help support creators Actually building businesses around the work and making increasing amounts of profit from the commerce that makes that arises from people playing their content. It's actually good news from them, so kudos, kudos to them for this initiative. So apparently we have an official release date for the Death Space remake. It'll be out January 27th of 2023. Apparently we have some new concept art as well. So I don't know, I might make it to it, I might not to, we'll see. So this is just to give you guys an idea of what's to come. And what you, you can expect. And for those of you who are unable to join us for the live show, for right now you could, jo you could, uh, jo you could uh, enjoy the VOD uh, later on Spotify, as well as uh, YouTube.com backslash play as well. Looks a lot better. Yep, that's for sure. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the four nights. Uh, has brought back short nights from sorry, Janet May twelfth. We're bringing a slew of short shorts, which is maybe about five or ten minutes long. Uh, they're on Fortnite, so you can enjoy a slew of shorts if you guys are interested in checking that out. And let's get into this 505 Game Spring Showcase that was announced, coming from GameSpot. It'll, on May 17th, the publisher did say it will consist of updates on previously announced titles as well as a, a quote-unquote surprise or two during the stream. So it'll be... Let's see, uh, May 17th, 3, no, 9 a.m. Eastern. Wow, 9 a.m., okay. May 17th, so that's Tuesday, as of this recording. So Sony has apparently reserved a new PS5 model coming from GameSpot that uses a an updated radio equipment. So instead of the CFI 1200, it uses the CFI-1000 model numbering scheme. So it's just like because of the, sh the chip shortages, as just, just having a new chip, a, like a new chip, it's not gonna mean anything for the console or any Pro or PS6 version as well. So the same thing the Xbox is working on as well. And speaking of PlayStation, we have some during the limelight, but in a negative way. The staff members at PlayStation are reportedly angry at CEO Jim Ryan 
person is sending an email to employees urging them to respect difference, differences of opinion on abortion rights before writing. At length about his two cats' first birthday, according to Bloomberg and written by at GameSpot. The email begins by addressing current events such as the recent leak of a U.S. Supreme Court opinion draft signaling an intent to overturn Roe v. Wade, the landmark case which federally legalized abortion. Ryan did not take a stance on the subject in the email, instead writing that the company and its employees are quote-unquote multi-faced and diverse, holding many different points of view. We owe it to each other and to PlayStation millions of users who respect differences of opinion among everyone in our internal and external communities, Ryan wrote. Respect is not equal agreement, but it's a fundamental to use as we are as a company and as a valued global brand. Brand. Ryan then uh, went on to write five paragraphs as something lighthearted to help ins- quote unquote, inspire everyone. To be mindful of having balance that can help ease the stress of uncertain world events. His cats. And according to their employees, they've never been so mad at quote unquote, about a cat party before. It's not surprising because you're literally quote-unquote saying that there's two sides, but there's apparently one side, a right and a wrong side. And you're apparently saying that there's two sides? This is not how this works. So we're not going to go into the political of this, but it's... If it's your choice, if it's your body, it's your choice, plain and simple. But nonetheless, let's keep moving on. The PlayStation Plus uh, free games for May 22 are available now. And they are Tribes of Midgard. Uh, hold on, let me see. Yeah. What is this? Oh, yeah, I'm lost. Hold on. Tribes of Midgard for the PS4, PS5. Curse of the Dead Gods. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just for PS4. Uh, and FIFA 2022 for a PS4 and PS5. Okay, now we have a new game from the creators of Genshin Impact, Zen List Zone Zero. So if you guys are playing Genshin Impact Zero, hopefully you like this game as well. It's called New Erido. All right, so this is okay. We got that. Uh, okay, so these last uh, two news stories are are a hybrid between gaming and music, but the gaming metaverse known as Roblox. So apparently now there is a Spotify island now on Roblox that you can experience to interact uh, for artists and music. Such as inter- well, you can interact with art superstars such as Stray Kids and Sunmi. And apparently, Roblox is also doing a Charlie X S X C X and a Samsung collab in a virtual pop star game. Which I'll definitely check that out as well. Okay. Uh. We're done with your gaming play, folks. Now we're going to move on to tech. Alrighty, folks. So we have a new venues event space uh, that's coming. That's available into the Horizon World Social VR platform from Meta. Uh, let's see what's going on in this Road to VR article. Okay, so it's going to be coming June 6th. It will allow Horizon World users to direct access to venue events, such as live sports, concerts, comedies, and user-created quote-unquote meetups. So expect some new stuff coming to the MetaQuest 2. And and now we have some 
Tech Lab uh, accessible products from Microsoft. During their Ability Summit 2022. So it's a slew of PC accessories, essentially. So we have a adaptive, uh, an adaptive mouse that you could add. Let me show you this. Let me show you this one, the central article. That's not it. There we go. There we are, folks. And pretty much it's like a mouse that you could put different features at the end of it. That's what it seems like. That the button sync with the adaptive hub, which supports up to oh, four wireless connected buttons simultaneously. So you don't attach to it. That's what it, it said it attacks to, it attaches to it via magnets. So a D-pad, joystick, dual button, or your own custom 3D printed design. Oh, so it can be customized, see? With attached on either left or right side. So I was right. All right. And we have, I guess, a demonstration from Mark Zuckerberg for Meta's high-end project, Cambria VR headset. He, there is a short demo show that showcased some of the capabilities. Uh, so we had some of the highlights are high resolution, full color pass-throughs, so the wearers can interact with virtual objects overlaid onto the real-life environments. And their mixed reality experience is built using Meta's presence platform. And then the current Quest headset is only available of displaying pass through content in shades of gray. But Project Cambria will have much higher resolution image sensors to make the real world look better inside the headset. Okay. So let's see. And uh, uh, for Elon Musk's Twitter bio is currently temporary on temporarily on hold. Going from IGN. Uh, according to claims, that less than five percent of users on the platform are false or spam accounts are checked. According to his tweet. I'm like, okay, wait, that's less than 5%, which is nothing. So how does that have to do with your quote-unquote deal that you literally over, you're overpaying for Twitter? But apparently says he's still committed to the acquisition. To find out, my team will do a random sample of 100 followers of Twitter. <laughs> literally, their replies are pretty much useless. But yeah. Uh, let's see. With that, we're going to, speaking of Elon Musk, SpaceX's Starlink satellite internet is now available to order in 32 countries. We have uh, parts of Australia, Brazil, Chile, the U.S., Canada, and most of Europe. But it will definitely cost you a penny, five hundred and forty-nine dollars for reservation holders, uh, or five ninety-nine for new order, for new orders, including a twenty-five per, uh, per month fee. No, that's the portability, but the service plans are about a hundred dollars per month, which is definitely not worth it. 
Not yet. Anyways, so we have some new leaks from Motorola's uh, upcoming Razer 3. Coming from The Verge, which I'll show you guys momentarily as well. Okay, there we are, folks. So definitely here is the older... Can you guys see the mouse? No, you can't. I gotta, I gotta figure that out. Give me a second. Uh, where's the capture? Wait, hold on. Give me in. Capture Corsair. Why is it weird? No, it won't show it. Oh, wait, I see. Okay. That's weird. It was showing it the other day. No, it doesn't want to show it. <laughs> It's so weird. Okay, so we'll go we'll do we'll this. The one on the left is the older model. The one on the right is the current model, which I don't I don't get OBS. Like it was just it literally did it randomly, just capturing the mouse. But now I won't do it. <laughs> like, huh? But yeah, okay. Which definitely looks reminiscent of the Samsung uh, Flip three and four. Looks similar to that. I think, I think that's what they're trying to, mim to mimic. Is it even closer? Pick. And I think that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. It'll have an FHD plus interior folding display and a whole bunch of 32 megapixel selfie camera. And it's also rumored to release a standard version of the device with the Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 system on a chip along with a plus variant. So Apple has this continued the iPod lineup. And, and it'll apparently be only available in stores while supplies last. Thank you, Yahoo, for that. And speaking of Apple, Apple's reportedly testing USB-C iPhones. Come on, this is coming from End Jacket and, 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 and Gadget. You know what's funny? They literally really, when they first released the iPhone, they released the older um, iPhone charger, which is the bulky one, the thick one. And then they, then they ended up releasing the lightning cable. So I'm like, you literally did your own thing for a generation since you first released the first iPhone. And now you're testing USB-C? If that was the case, you would have been doing it. Why did you just really keep releasing your own thing? So according to a Bloomberg report, the company is testing new iPhones and adapters with USB-C, which is what MacBooks and iPads currently already use. Oh, okay, but um, what it might mean is appar apparently it might not have a USB-C port. It might allow an adapter to be used for lightning to USB-C. And speaking of Apple, Apple has begun cracking down on apps and games on its App Store that may have not been updated in a handful of years, angering numerous game developers who have stopped supporting their products on the, on the platform. Several game developers starting sharing messages Apple had sent out last week indicating that the games need to be updated within quote, the next 30 days or risk being taken off the App Store. And apparently, according to the replies from these developers, if their game has been working for years and has been updated since, who knows what version of iOS. If it's still working great, there's no reason for them to update it. But nonetheless, uh, let's go into Google's I.O. Uh, uh, conference. So this first one's coming over from Engadget, and the next one's coming over from IGN. 
So Google did release its Pixel devices. We have the Pixel Watch that is arriving this fall. So uh, let me, I guess, show you. Yeah, you know, I'll show you these articles. It's fine. Okay, F L. Then we go to gaming. Okay, there we go. Here's a new Pixel Watch that is arriving. So I'm thinking I'm gonna wait on getting a watch. I might get the Pixel. Or I might get the. Uh, if they have a new version of the Galaxy Watch, we'll see what happens. This definitely looks nice though. But thing is with Galaxy, every time they release a new device, which is either a watch or the headset, it doesn't stay to the same design. They always have a new design every year, which is frustrating. When you're trying to get a band or a sporting band or whatever, they always do that. That's why I don't, that's why I don't like going with Samsung. So they literally have the Buds Life that was released last year. And then literally, this year, they released a newer version of it, which is a completely different redesign. I'm like, they literally do that every year, which is just like frustrating. But nonetheless, we have a, the Google Pixel 6a. Uh, will be at 449. And this Google Pixel 6, uh, doesn't say here. Let's just continue reading. We'll get into that later on. Google did tease the Pixel 7 that is coming later this year. Two models, like usual. The 7 and the... Oh, oh yeah, 7 and 6A, apparently. Uh, let's see. Sony apparently has a new smartphone. Sony the Xperia 1.4. The world's first true optical zoom lens. We have the Pixel Buds Pro with spatial audio. Has come July 28th. Uh, it did tease this new generation of AR glasses, which is just an early prototype. And we have this, the Sonus Ray, which is the company's most affordable sound bar. Okay. Let's see, Google Pixel. Yeah, nothing useful. So we have, let's see. Oh, we have uh, the Google Wallet stuff. Hold on. So Google Translate is going to be supporting some more languages, it looks like. Playing for new languages. As you guys can see from these uh, Im images. Google Maps is getting, I guess, it's just doing scaled buildings on its maps as well. Uh, YouTube. Is getting some new updates as well. Google Docs, TLDR is automatically summarizing documents, which is nice. Google Meet is getting some improvements. Google's multi search, which we talked about earlier. Real tone, which is it will better capture darker skin tones, and now Google is expanding it to make all products more inclusive. Uh, let's see. So apparently, you can look at your Google device and and just talk after the device recognizes you. Apparently, I don't know how this is gonna work, but yeah. Uh, we have Google's also making its AI assistant more conversational. And we have Google Pay is getting some new updates as well with virtual credit cards on Chrome and Android. And it'll Google uh, Pay is apparently following the Apple Wallet as well for, with tickets, passes, IDs, and more. Theme park passes and so much more. So Google Wear is on getting an emergency SMS feature. About time. Android 13. The beta is available today. Google, we talked about the phones. Uh, here's the buds, which are not bad, but I don't, I don't like these. These are reminiscent of the old wired headsets, the way the cushions are. But the watch looks nice, though. We'll see. And a new tablet. And apparently the new watch will also have deep, quote unquote, deep Fitbit integration. Uh, 
Alrighty. Well, I think that's it for the IO conference. Okay, let's see. I'm done with tech, folks. Then I'm going to move on to sports. So, let's see what we got here. We have the NBA playoffs. We have some new updates, I guess, I guess you could say. The series has been tied for the Western Conference for Phoenix and Dallas at 3 3. So, they're doing another game on later on today. Uh, let's see, what day is it? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Game 7 at 8 p.m. Uh, tonight, today. Uh, and then we have uh, the Warriors are moving on. They beat Mo the Grizzlies at 42. We have... Miami is moving on from uh, the 76ers. They defeated them 4-2. to two. And we have another ser series tied from the Bucks and the Boston Celtics. And Game 7 is uh, apparently going to be taking place to later on today at 3.30 p.m. So we have a match preview. Atlanta United is taking on the New England Revolution later on today at 1.30. Well, I say now, <laughs> I should say. So here's a little key stats. Atlanta United, the passing, their passing percentage are number one, 85.2%. Uh, 85 and New England is, at, is, eight, is number eighth at 82.7%. Their corner is taken, I guess, 66 in second, and uh, New England at 59 in sixth. The goals for Atlanta United are 15, and New England Revolution at 16. Uh, Atlanta United assists are at 9, and New England are at 20. And apparently, the players to watch are Ronaldo Cisneros, Luis Arroja. I don't know if I pronounced that right or wrong, but I apologize if I did. Mar Marcelino Mar Mar Moreno and Thiago Almada. And apparently, Atlanta United will be wearing their BLVC kit. So, good luck to the squad on their match. And the Liverpool have won the FA Cup. And a shootout and penalties and penalties. And speaking of Liverpool, they are taking on Real Madrid for the UEFA Champions League finals. Mm, when is it? May twenty eighth at uh, three p.m. Eastern. It'll take place in Saint Denis, France, just outside of Paris. And the venue did get changed from uh, Pittsburgh, Russia, because of what's going on there. And lastly, we have Gotham uh, versus Courage Map. Cur Courage match has been postponed due to COVID-19 protocols and the racing versus dash yeah that's the racing versus wait wait what okay hold on give me a second let me get into this you guys talk about the postponed match uh, okay now let's see uh so the Land of Pride took on Kansas City. Hold on. Oh no. The Land of Pride hosted Kansas City Current and the Florida and, and Florida. Well, okay, I guess you could say that. So Land of Pride hosted Kansas City Current for a two-to-two -two draw. And Racing Louis Louisville Football Club and Houston Dash. Man, for the first time this year after playing each other twice during the 2022 Challenge Cup. And uh, 
Okay, that's about it. So we're done with sports, folks, and we're gonna move on to a couple of music news stories coming from Billboard. Mostly Billboard, but we're gonna see that shortly. Alrighty, folks, so this first one is in regards to... Okay, let's get into this. The Recording Academy's Black Music Collective and Amazon Music are reteaming under Your Future Is Now Scholarship Program for the second year. The program seeks to provide select students HBCUs the opportunity to learn and explore all facets of the music industry. First launched back in February of 2021, the program offers select HBCU students networking opportunities with members of the music industry, including an immersive rotation program with Amazon Music and Recording Academy department leads. And this year, the BMC will select four students currently enrolled at HBCU for the program. Each will receive a $10,000 scholarship. The BMC and Amazon Music will also award two HBCUs as a $10,000 grant for each equipment for their music programs. The scholarship application goes live May 12th, which is live now, and the deadline is, Feb is uh, June 10th. An applicant must be a U.S. citizen or permanent, permanent resident, currently enrolled or in, in good standing at an HBCU, pursuing a bachelor's degree in music, music business, business administration, marketing, communication, or a related field, and have a minimum a coming, cumulative GP uh, average of 3 point, on a 4.0 uh, scale or its equivalent. Let's go on down. So we have more than 150 artists and influencers have signed on to support Planned Parenthood's Band of Our Bodies campaign with Miley Cyrus, Camilo Cavallo, Olivia Rodrigo, Ariana Grande, Sean Mendes, Megan Thee Stallion, and many more, lending their names to a full-page New York Times ad on May 13th, denouncing the leaked Supreme Court draft opinion threatening to overturn Rose v. Wade. Let's go at that music industry is standing up for something that they believe in. And Ukraine's rock and folk group, Folish Orchestra, writing a record number of votes from the park and a kinetic song that became an anthem for suffering mothers overtook the United Kingdom, Sweden, and Spain to capture the 66th Eurovision Song Contest and a nail biter in Turin, Italy. The quarters to them. Telemundo announced Thursday that uh, the list of nominees for the third edition of I don't want to bosh this, but because Spanish isn't the greatest, but Premios to Musica Urbano said to take place June 23rd in San Juan, Puerto Rico. The list of nominees include Bad Bunny with a total of 12 nominations, followed by Rune Alejandro with 11, J Balvin with 10, and all three up for Artists of the Year alongside are Faruko, Carol, Carol G, Maluma, and Sebastian Yatra. We have other nominees include Carol Maria, Maria Baguera in Annual AA, with each score nine nominations. Carol G nods include Album of the Year, Female Artist of the Year for KG0516, and Council Tour of the Year for her Pichota Tour. Meanwhile, Basaro competes for Album of the Year in Female Artist with Animal and scored four ent entries in the Video of the Year New Artist category. And Animal received nominations in Top Artist, Male Top Artist, Trap, and Album of the Year Male Artist uh, for Las Leyendas Nunca Meran. And according to a press release, pre Premios to Musica Urbano will honor the growing urban movement that is dominating around the world and which has extended its reach thanks to fusion, fusions with other genres as pop, tropical, and Mexico regional. The three four category range from Album of the Year, Album of the Year for Male Artists, Album of the Year for Female Artists, and Cal Cal 
collab of the year for top and top social artist and video of the year amongst others. And the ceremony will take place in Puerto Rico, produced by Sora and Company One. It'll be a three hour event. And yeah. And now we're going to go on to some news. Uh, a new tour, I guess. Yeah, a new world tour. From Kendrick Lamar. It, uh, it's apparently a... It'll be touring North America first. Starting with Oklahoma on July 19th. He'll make stops in Atlanta, Miami, Philly, Los Angeles, and New Zealand on December 16th. So it's going to be like an international world tour. So here are the new songs. Kendrick Lamar apparently came out with his fifth studio album, dubbed Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. And we talked about his world tour. And now we have Post Malone has teamed up with Roddy Rich for Cooped Up. And it's the forthcoming 12 Carrot Toothache album. My Chemical Romance. Uh, he's getting a re reunion tour. And it, and it did release the Foundations of Decay. And then we have Florence and the Mach and the Machine and Dance Forever, Chainsmokers and So Far So Good, and Becky G and Esquamas. And Taylor Swift, we were expecting a re-release of her uh, next album, and instead we just got new merch instead. And we have the Billboard Music Awards. That's being hosted by Diddy. It'll take place on Sunday. I think this is it today or one. On May 26th. No, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Let's see. Oh, so it'll air Sunday, May 15th. So... Later on tonight, as of this recording on NBC and on Peacock. So we have the weekend. Don't you can Olivia, Olivia Rodriguez are 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 in the lead as finalists, and Travis Scott, Ed Sheeran, Morgan Wallman will hit the stage. And we have a slew of. Actors, hosts, influencers, and musicians that will pre present. And we have the Juno Award winners. The Weekend and Charlotte Carden each won multiple awards at the 2022 Juno Awards opening night's awards center ceremony, which was led at the Metro Toronto Convention Center in Toronto on Saturday, May 14th. More than 40 awards were presented. Cardi B won three, Artist for Artist of the Year, Single of the Year for Meaningless, and Pop Album of the Year for her debut, Phoenix, which spent two weeks at number one on the Billboard Canadian Albums chart. So next, we have a Lover and Fred in Las Vegas e event, let's see, Music Festival. There is actually a security incident that, there, that Temporarily halted performances on Saturday. So there is uh, Las Vegas police did say in a statement that there are people were taken out in local hospitals with minor injuries after crowds rushed from the Las Vegas Vegas crowds. So apparently there was no evidence of a shooting, but we'll see. So. We have Gwen Stefani will be returning as the as uh returning to the voice as the coach. And lastly, we have for the top five of Billboard's top uh, hot hundred. We have number one at Wait for You, which is brand new. Uh, 
which is by Future, featuring Drake and Thames, as it was by Harry Styles at number two. Number three at First Class by Jack Harlow. Number four, Poofy on Zoots by Future. And number five, He's Heat Wave by Glass Animals. So it looks like that's all we have for you folks. Then I'm going to move on to reading mail. Guys are interested in uh, being part of our future episode or even our special reading mail segment of the show. Stay tuned for that. But before we do, we have some, we have uh, entertainment to, to discuss. So we have Netflix is exploring some live stream for its first time. Plan, we have some plans to roll out for unscripted series and maybe some stand up specials. And this is just in the early stages of development coming from Deadline. Alan Wake TV series has is in the works over at AMC and it's been greenlit. But I'm definitely excited for this too. The Alan Wake games are really something. We have Gotham Knights, uh, Walker Independence, and the Winchesters have there have been picked up by the CW. All three are based on underlying IP, Supernatural prequel, The Witcher's Walker origin story. Uh, coming from Deadline. We have Fast X has made another personal change in adding new cast member Alan Richards, the star of Jack Reacher and Titans. And apparently Deadline was the first to report this coming from GameSpot. We have uh, some new power changes coming to Miss Marvel. Coming, and this is coming from Kevin Feige via IGN. In an interview with Empire, Feige discussed Kamala Khan's power in the upcoming Miss Marvel series and why they're not quite comment accurate. He assured fans that tweaks were necessary for the character debut in the MCU because she is being introduced at a different time to her comic book counterpart, which, pays, which plays a part of her transform from page to screen. We adapt the comics, and it's not an exact trans translation, which of course we've seen in movies and shows alike. Feige explained to the outlet, making reference to the changes spotted by fans in various teaser trailers for the series. And we have... South Park is making its official return June 1st with a special event titled The Streaming Awards. Apparently it's going to take a parody at Paramount uh, vs. Netflix, HBO Max, Disney+, Hulu, Apple TV, and Peacock. And speaking of Hulu, uh, you are Hulu, mem Hulu members are getting three months of game PC Game Pass for free. And that's about it, folks. So now, here's how you can send us Freedom Mail. You want to know your feedback, your thoughts, and even questions you may have for us by sending us Freedom Mail on the Discord server. Let me get voice note over at anchor.fm. Backslash step back play, or even by sending us an email to readymail at thenplane.com. Who knows, maybe even be featured on a future episode, or even our special readymail segment of the show. Thank you guys so, so much for making us a part of your day. Wish to join our community server over on Discord. Be sure to enter the exclamation Discord and chat now. And guys, we're trying to all like sub subs over on Twitch, and we need your help. Share the channel with your friends and family, and everyone who will believe one of from the show. So we've been bashing our goals left and right on YouTube, and the, the only one that has been shrank away from us is Twitch. So in order to help us unlock finally unlock subs, join us when we go live with the live playthroughs, and more. Lurk a few months because every little bit helps us achieve the goal even 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 closer. And leave us your review, use your rating on your favorite platform. Thank you guys so, so much. Have a great one, and until next time, for all of you, go to Crusade and above. I'll see you on the post show. For everyone else, have a good one.